Hi, I'm Ferenc Antal, the owner of Ludas Matyi Puli Kennel. I'm an international judge of Hungarian Shepherds uh, and I have been breeding Pulis for more than 20 years. First I have been breeding Commodores, but later on I fell in love with the Poly breed. I obtained my first Poly uh, Bitch in 1998. She was the basis of our breeding program. The Puli is an ancient Hungarian herding dog breed. The ancient background is quite well proven as there are a lot of historical findings from the past of the Pulis. One thing is very certain, the Hungarian tribes who were wandering to the Carpathian basis in the 9th century were accompanied by Pulis. Their appearance and qualities were formed by the needs of herding big flocks of animals. The old chronicles wrote that the pulley is a middle-sized bootleg dog, which meant that their widder's height was equal with the top of the bootleg. What we also know that they have been a very intelligent dog breed, who adapted themselves very well to their surroundings. The pulley have had a very high value in the ancient Hungarian society, and I strive to keep them pure-blooded. The ancient shepherd and herding dynasties always strive to breed very intelligent dogs with excellent working uh, capabilities. They were very successful and the breed still keep their fine-tuned capabilities and mental abilities. It is very important to note that the name of the Puli, which in Hungarian Puli, says the more most about their character. In the ancient times there were three ancient Hungarian shepherd dogs, the Kuvas, the Komondor and the Puli. The name of the first two, beginning with letter K, were derived from the Hungarian word for dogs, Kutya. Uh, even the commandors were pronounced earlier as Kumondor. Uh, the Puli always meant uh, much more for their herdsmen. They treated them differently as a special category of animal, which, is, uh, uh, which was more than an animal, uh, something between an animal and a human. This is why the old Hungarian saying is that there are dogs and there is the pulley. Uh, some words about their breeding history. From the period before the First World War, we don't have a lot of uh, sources about the pulleys. The reason for this uh, is that the chronicle writers usually didn't go to the countryside and the pulleys were there. Uh, the police spend their whole season with the herds together with the herdsmen. As the traditional way of herding narrowed and more and more police got into the villages or close to the villages and near cities, there are more sources about them, uh, I mean written sources. The era between the two world wars was the golden era of the pulley with a high level of breeding work and very fine results. Unfortunately, similarly to other Hungarian shepherd and herding breeds, 
the Second World War made a tremendous damage to the breed. In the Second World War, Hungary was, the, was a heavy battlefield uh, of the German and Soviet armies and the breed had to be restored from the pieces after the war, as many of them were uh, shot during the war. After the war, the aim of the breeding was to form a very intelligent dog for warning and guarding purposes. The character of the pulley is that they are extremely intelligent and very, uh, very much human-centered. Compared to other herding breeds, they are, they are uh, fond of humans, which is quite common among, among these breeds. They are constantly monitor the mood of their master, owner, and the deep level of connection between the pulley and the owner is quite range among dog breeds uh, and shepherd breeds. The high intelligence uh, that is coded in their genes from the herding period transformed into being a fantastic social or companion dog. Their intelligence excels in dog sports, in therapy, therapy work and even in the families. If you feel like it, you can take them to traditional herding work as well, although with their present hairstyle it is uh, not so simple. The breed is ideal for all dog owners who are looking for an intelligent and a very lovable breed. They can adapt themselves to almost all human companion, from kids to elderly people. They are ideal family members. They are very successful as show dogs. Uh, they are usually the stars of the shows because of their very special appearance and fur structure. They have a very lively temperament and they are said to be a talkative breed. As they are intelligent and they tell their opinion about almost all situation, uh, this is for some people mean too much, while others love it very very much. Uh, the Puli is a very self-conscious breed, but always the owner is the first, who they adore and bless. It is important to tell that they can adapt very well to our present world. Although they are a very active breed, uh, breed, it warms your heart to see how easily they, they adapt their speed to an elderly couple and accept their lifestyle. Maybe one of the reasons for this is they don't have the terrier blood in them and they are distinct from all other breeds as well. Their mood will become quite similar to the lifestyle of the family they live in. If you live an active life, they will be your best pair to do it. They are a small, middle-sized breed with short body and high ease of steering cap capabilities. Their specialty is their fur structure, which is really unique among all dogs. Although their hair is inherited from their ancestors, the present-day breeders concentrate on the in quotes, user-friendly hair, which is easy to maintain. They are so special that nobody can pass, pass by a two-year-old two pulley without having a deep look at them. Basically, they are a very healthy breed, although we breeders have to look for any signs of possible inherited illnesses. All breeders have to make the compulsory health checks like dysplasia and others. In some very rare cases we have experienced epilepsy and, the, and knee dislocation, 
but these lines were sorted out from the breedable bloodlines in the past decades. The Pulley, fortunately, is a very long life breed. Usually, usually they live for 14 to 16 years, which is an advantage for their pra from their past, the sel selection of the fittest for centuries. The pulley are bred in four color versions, the black, the white, the grey and the fawn with mask. Uh, amongst these uh, uh, colors the black is the most well known and most dominant, but all, but all others are present in uh, breeding lines uh, in our days. The question uh, is very important that what is the present and future of the pulley in our modern world. Although we are living in peace and not in war zones, the pulley, but the pulley is not in a safe position. To keep this breed in its values and traditions in the long run, breeders and owners are also needed. Similarly to the other Hungarian breeds, this breed has almost a thousand years of history, past and tradition. If you decide to have a pulley, you must know this fact and should be very proud of this. Uh, some words about ourselves. We have been breeding the pulley breed for more than 20 years with great success and satisfaction. We have got to know many bloodlines and I'm proud of the fact that the dogs who were working, uh, who are barking in our yard, their grand ancestors have been on this yard as well. We kept our ancient breeding line and our traditions. Presently, dogs from our kennel are all over the world. Parts of them are successful show dogs. Others are ideal family dogs. In the past decades, we bred more than 10 Europe and world winner dogs. It's a great, great feedback, uh, but, uh, but for me, who is a breeder, this is not the most important thing. I constantly work on to find the mo most ancient bloodlines to bring them into our breeding program and to save values this way. It is not the most important thing to bring out a world show winner dog, but to find an ancient bloodlines who are valuable for this breed and their owners in the future, this is what the most important for us. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>